Globally, tourism contributes over $8 trillion to the economy. But what may be the adventure of a lifetime for people could be the end of the line for the wildlife in those places. In the past several decades, people have become interested in environmentally responsible tourism. Ecotourism is a fast-growing industry where people travel to areas with exotic wildlife in environmentally responsible areas. It makes up over 10% of the travel industry. In theory, this practice supports conservation, research, and wildlife foundations to protect endangered species. It provides funding for protected areas that could otherwise be destroyed and stimulates the local economy. But even by taking careful steps to protect natural areas, tourism is still causing problems around the world in delicate ecosystems, like the Galapagos. Famous for its biodiversity and beautiful climate, it has become an increasingly common place to visit. During the past few centuries, travelers have changed the landscape and vegetation of these islands. People can bring diseases unknowingly, or they bring species like mice, cats, and cattle. Diseases and alien species hurt the native wildlife and vegetation. Avian pox was introduced in the late 19th century and has devastated bird populations. Now the Galapagos has taken measures to prevent the spread of diseases by fumigating plains. Since Darwin first stepped foot on the Galapagos, 106 species have become endangered, and several have gone extinct. Fortunately, 95% of the original biodiversity is still present. Uncontrolled tourism increases threats to wildlife, and it's growing at 14% a year. Ecotourism attempts to mitigate these issues by only allowing a manageable number of people to be present in sensitive areas. In the Galapagos, only 15 people can be on shore with a tour guide at a time. These groups move from island to island by boat, never staying in one place too long, to keep up the appearance that the islands are more remote. The Galapagos National Park has established an acceptable visitor load to ensure the islands do not become overwhelmed. But this has been raised to over 200,000 a year to accommodate growing numbers of visitors. Hotels have become more popular for people who are not willing to pay higher prices to ensure environmental responsibility. Hotels produce high amounts of garbage and waste and contribute little to conservation. These make up 70% of trips booked. Issues with waste management are putting stress on the existing infrastructure and inefficient recycling is overwhelming landfills with plastic bottles and straws. The biggest risks include degradation of habitats from waste and pollution on beaches, invasive species outcompeting native species, and physical impacts on reefs from fishing and other marine activities. The success of the tourism industry in the Galapagos depends on the pristine state of the marine ecosystems and the terrestrial parks. Raising entry fees to fund conservation and making hotels more expensive could be a way to prevent an influx of people who are not interested in nature preservation. The struggle of maintaining a balance between economic growth and environmental protection is going to affect the future of the islands. Focusing on growing only the sustainable ecotourism industry can prevent future destruction of ecosystems and preserve the Galapagos for generations to come.